All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. Again, rolling down the Doogee lane. This is the T20S from Doogee. And this one has a base storage of 128 gigs, 15 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs with 7 virtual. Uh, this, these these uh, tablets today do have a mobile network that they're shipping out. And I think that's pretty good that they're doing it like this because a lot of people... Uh, no, we're not, let me go ahead and sign in. <laughs> we don't want to go to London. All right. Yeah, but having these devices um, come with um, a, a SIM card gives you a more of a chance to be mobile without a phone. And I think that's the mo one of the more important things that we can take a look at. Now, this one is in that nice, sleek black. Ooh, as you can see here, this is their new camera module. Uh, and it also has high-res audio. I had this ugly label, so I removed it. But along the top here, this is the antenna band that you would see. Uh, and this one is going to be a little bit more powerful than, than the other ones. Uh, let me go ahead and pull the specs up on this for you. Uh, because uh, a lot of these um, uh, tablets that they're dropping are really solid. They're really good tablets. It's just, you know, trying to get people to understand them in the U.S. is a, is a whole nother, a whole nother game. Uh, let me go to, hold on a second. Let me get this pulled up. Uh, this one is a uh, resolution of 2000 by 1200, 10.4 inch display. Uh, pretty nice, man. I mean, this is uh, 7.9 millimeters in thickness, and it's actually really sleek, man. Uh, you've got a docking pin down here. More than likely, you can dock it to something. You've got your Type C, a speaker over there, and a speaker over here. Because I show them, um, they show the demo for this, kind of them gaming with this. It's supposed to be kind of powerful because it does have the um, octa-core processor at the Unisoc T616 processor. So uh, DDR4X RAM, so 12 nanometer chip. Um, this should be pretty a pretty good tablet to most people. Uh, and battery life on these things should, should just be great. Most of the tablets that they bring out have pretty decent battery life. Um, overall, I've never seen one of these tablets uh, with bad battery life, uh, and I've got a ton of them. Uh, just kind of walking through to get you into the actual setup here. And it is a stock Android device, folks. And you see it's got the phone and the and the um, messaging app ready to go. So, I mean, the Mini is something that I could probably throw into a backpack. But this one's going to have a better display, uh, a much bigger display. Uh, and uh, it still does phone calls and everything as well. Uh, so this is, uh, let me go into settings here. And look at uh, about and see what it's running. It should be running Android 13. Yeah, Android 13, 8 gigs of RAM and everything there. So this is uh, this is going to be pretty nice. I mean, it's a pretty nice tablet. Uh, very sleek. Their, their new design is really good. Pardon all the stickiness. They have that big label on the back. But their new design and their new camera modules are really nice too. Now, I did check out the camera modules on the Mini. Uh, let me see what the camera is on here. Yeah, I, I think it's kind of a shame that they, they want to use your location just to take a photo. That is just so weird. But let's go to video and see how the highest resolution this one can shoot. And same thing, this one only shoots in 1080p 30. And I, I guess I shouldn't say only uh, because that's more than enough for, for everybody that's actually, you know, using a tablet. Uh, but the rear camera shoots at 1080p uh, 30. At the, and 1080p 30 is more than enough for everybody for video. As long as it's a good 1080p video, it's really good. So, uh, Android 13 running in full effect, man. This is a uh, this is gonna be pretty good, man. I, th I think I'm gonna like this. I gotta test out these speakers real quick, though. Let's go into this and let's see if we can find. You don't need to do that. Uh, let's see here, Mr. J. L. Williams, C8. Let's see if I can find myself. And there I am. Let's test these speakers. Well, I can already tell you, just listen to this ad. These speakers are going to sound pretty good. So it's been a week since I've had my car. Yeah, they sound pretty decent. This Camaro. They sound pretty decent. Check it out. There it is. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Beautiful. Highest the screen can go is 1080p for watching YouTube. All right, guys, so here it is. And I'm going to crank up the uh, brightness real quick. Stingray. Now, pretty good. This is a this is a pretty car. nice uh, setup. This is a pretty nice setup. The screen is at about half brightness too, and it's actually really solid. So, um, yeah, I, it, this is this is gonna be really nice. I like it. I like it. It's gonna be pretty nice. So anyway, that's a look at Doogee's um, 
T20S, real brief and to the point, just wanted to show you that it was in, and I actually have had this for so long, again, I just hadn't had time to get around to all these Doogee tablets, but we're going to make it happen for you guys. It's your man Jay, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you in the next one, take care.